and now let's power it up uh, you can see first uh, I had plugged in it onto this board okay and the voltage is coming through this plug into the amplifier here but I made something interesting that I put a one uh, put a 11 kilo ohm resistor in series with this high voltage power supply to limit the charging current of these huge capacitors here. I I was worried that these two diodes may be broken or burnt if the starting charging current is too large when we plug in that and uh, it may start a very big plug spark when I put it pushing the plug so I uh, mounted a charging resistor here and uh, I had plugged in it very long ago so it is charged up so I can short that resistor and uh, let the let the voltage go through straight into this red rectifiers and the capacitors okay that will make the power that will generate more power you know so I turn this switch from off to on and that will short this resistor okay okay you can see that the milliamp meter had uh, had turned to this and uh, quickly back to its normal zero position okay so this thing is ready to be powered up now. The only thing we need to do is to is to uh <clears throat> is to send a signal send a signal into this power stage through this coax cable here and the signal RF signal will come through that little black wire into the into the cathode of this vacuum tube. And that will drive this vacuum tube to its limit. And uh, since we use this, this JRC one seven one seven six uh, marine uh, marine transmitter here. This is a marine old marine transmitter. Okay, and I power it up. You see that it works on. 7050 kilohertz low sideband mode okay low sideband mode here and the power is not limit so it will generate about 150 watts sorry my focus is not good here because this plastic is a rect a reflect surface okay so the 150 watt power will go through the 50 ohm cable to here and go straight into this RF amplifier and the amplifier the signal will go through this cable here here to the power meter here and go out okay well it will be radiated to the space to the space around us and uh, that's there is a very interesting thing that when I push the push the button and it generates the RF signal my light here here is my light okay a metal halide lamp okay you can see Philip 70 watt metal halide lamp okay this is the baluster uh, it, it can be also called a, called a switch mode power supply which generates about 19 volts DC into this oh no 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 19 volts 400 hertz square wave and one amp power into this light okay and uh, when I power it up the light will be interfered and it will be shut down okay uh, let's try it let's try it okay you see when I push my button and the signal will be amplified to a very weirdest stage and the high power signal will interfere my light over there you see one two three you see the light oh it's going out okay <laughs> so
So the light is out. Okay, I didn't I didn't disconnect it. You see, this is the plug for the light, and it goes out by itself there. <laughs> and uh, I will I want you to oh I need to turn on my light here, and uh, I want you to see a very interesting thing that uh, this uh, uh, I said that the standing wave ratio is high, so. The, most of the power I generated is reflected from the antenna, so it comes straight into my uh, power amplifier here, to this tube here. So the uh, many energy will be wasted on that two plates here. So the plate will be burnt very red if I push this button for a long time. Okay, we try to see that now. Uh, first, you see that if I push this button, the amp meter will, will to its full uh, range. Okay, then the standing wave ratio meter is to its full uh, place. I don't know the actual power output. Maybe it's over 300 watts. Okay, we can see the amp amp meter is go over three amps. Okay, and. Uh, I turn off the light and let you see the red plating uh, thing, red plating tube, one, two, three. It's getting warm now and uh, red plating, okay, I need to stop. If I don't stop that, the tube will be damaged seriously, so one, another try, okay, you see. Uh, if I say, speak to this. Uh, to us uh, to this transmitter, you can see the tube is going red. I start now. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Bravo Hotel Seven Zulu Echo Alpha. This is Bravo Hotel Seven Zulu Echo Alpha. Calling CQ and standing by. You see that red plating tube? Okay. Power is very weird. Okay. And uh, that is my. Uh, transmitter and my RF power generator here. Mm, I will use uh, another tube, a larger tube, which can handle more RF power uh, to replace this little FU19 tube. This one can only handle about 150 watts, okay? But we pushed it to about 300 watts, so it is uh, over pushing and uh, it will be damaged soon. I will turn to FD71, another Chinese made RF amplifier vacuum tube uh, this weekend. And uh, I will back to see you later. Okay, goodbye everyone.